This is question two in a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told that Bilal has, is making sets of three candles. He puts a white candle, a silver candle and a gold candle into each set. The candles are sold in packets of different sizes and there are 25 white candles in a packet, 12 silver, 8 gold. Bilal wants to use all the candles that he buys and we're asked what is the smallest number of packets of white candles, of silver candles and of gold candles he needs to buy. So the first thing that we want to recognize is that this is a key sentence. Bilal wants to use all the candles he buys. So if we just think about that for a moment, if we were to just buy one packet of white candles, one packet of silver and one packet of gold. Now, if we wanted to arrange them like this, like this diagram is showing and, and how we're told, we would only we would have four leftover silver candles and we'd have 17 leftover white candles because we would only be able to match them up with the eight gold candles. So one thing that we would need to do is we would need to figure out, okay, well, if I bought two packs of gold, okay, in one pack of gold candles, I'd get eight. In the second pack, I'd get 16. That still isn't going to work because 16 doesn't match up with 12, doesn't match up with 25. And so I could keep going with this. But essentially what I'm doing, what I'm doing here is I'm finding the lowest common multiples of these numbers. And so one way I could do it is by to continue what I'm doing, carry on just writing out multiples, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, do the same with 25, so 25, 50, 75. But what you can see is actually this is going to be quite a long process. So a quicker way to do it would be to use a method for finding out the lowest common multiple of numbers. Um, so we're going to find the lowest common multiple of 8, 12 and 6, and not 12 and 16, uh, 25. So 8, 12 and 25. Now the way that we're going to do this is by finding out what each number is first as a product of prime factors and then using that method to find our lowest common multiple. If you don't know how to write numbers as product of prime factors, uh, then I'd suggest that you watch um, a, di uh, a video on it because I'm going to go through it fairly quickly here. So with 8, what we can say about 8 is that this is 4 times 2. Uh, 4 we can say is 2 times 2. And so 8, just using prime numbers multiplied together, we could write as 2 times 2 times 2. With 12, I can say that this is 4 times 3. I can say that 4 is 2 times 2. So 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. And then 25, prime numbers multiplied together to make 25, would be 5 times 5. Now I've written these numbers out. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to put the, these products of prime factors into a Venn diagram. So I'm going to have a Venn diagram with three ellipses like so, and I'm going to label each of them. So I've got 8, 12, and 25. And I'm just going to put the factors that are in common into here, into this Venn diagram. So I've got 8. Now 8 shares uh, a prime factor with 12. It shares a 2. So I'm going to cross that out and put it into the box where 8 and 12 are shared. Then uh, 8 and 12 share 2 again, so I'm going to put another 2 into that box. Then there are no more that are shared between um, these numbers. So 8 has got a 2 left, 12 has got a uh, 12 has got a 3, and then 25 has got 5 and a 5. Now the numbers that I've got in my Venn diagram, if I multiply them together, that will tell me what the lowest common multiple is. So these numbers multiplied together, 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 2, times 3 times 5 times 5. So what I can say 
is that my lowest common multiple is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 and this comes to uh, 600. So our lowest common multiple of 600, uh, our lowest common multiple of 8, 12 and 25 is 600. So if we were to continue that listing of multiples, we would get up to 600 um, and, uh, for, for, each of, for each of those lists. However, we're not finished here. We are asked, what is the smallest number of packets? Now, we know that the number of candles that we need is 600, and actually, we've just answered this part too. How many sets of candles can Bilal make from the packets of candles it buys? We've already worked that out. That's 600. But what we need to know is the number of white candles, silver candles, and of gold candles, how many packets he needs to buy. So what we're going to have to do is just take our 600 and divide by 25, 12, and 8. So for white candles, that's going to be 600 divided by 25. For silver candles, for silver candles, that is going to be um, 600 divided by 12. And then gold candles is going to be 600 divided by 8. And remembering that this is a calculator paper, so we can do all of these on our calculator. 600 divided by 25 is going to give us 24. Uh, 600 divided by 12 is going to give us 50, I think. And then uh, 600 divided by 8 is going, is that going to give us 75. Let's just quickly check. Uh, 600 divided by 8 doesn't give, give us 75. So our final answer to part one is 24 packets of white candles, 50 packets of silver, and 75 packets of gold. And how many sets can Bilal make from the packets of candles he buys? Our answer there would be 600.